In a previous video we worked on a custom avatar component, but sadly I missed a few things that could have been better. Let's go over them now. The first thing I want to fix are these two buttons. If we go back in the browser and click the submit button, we have this console here that tells us the form submit action is called. But apparently if we also click the avatar button, the form is submitted again. The reason why that is happening is because we have a button inside a form element with an unspecified type. So whenever we have a button inside a form without specifying the type, the button will be considered to be a submit button. So let's change its type. So we'll have type equals button. And now if we refresh the browser and pick a new file, the form is no longer submitted which is our desired behavior. Moving on to the next improvement, if we look inside our component, we can see that we are using this file property to check whether or not we should display the remove button. But we already receive value as a prop, and since value and file are essentially the same, we can replace file with value. And if I go back in the browser and refresh, it should still work the same. So let's go ahead and basically remove file from everywhere. So I remove it from data. Here, I will just send null as the input value. And here I will send directly e.target.files of zero. And now everything should still work. So let's pick a file and remove it. And it works. And finally, our last improvement has to do with the fact that currently there is no way to reset the value of this avatar input from outside the component. Let me demonstrate. So if you go to edit and say we would have a reset button that we'll call a reset method. Let's add the method here. And say this method would update the avatar input to null. If we go in the browser and try this out, so I'll pick an image and then try to reset the value, it wouldn't work. It would still show the same image. What we need to do is to watch the value and react whenever it changes. So let's add a watch for the value. And here what we need to do is to check that if we don't receive a file, we set the source to the default source and reset the input. So this refs file value equals an empty string. If we go back in the browser and refresh, pick a new photo and reset, we can see that now this works. Let's do the same for the other case, the case when we do have a file. When we do receive a file, we should read it and set its result as the source. So we should basically do what we're doing here. And replace this with file. And now we can get rid of this part right here. And also this part. And if we refresh and pick a new file, our behavior is the same. And that concludes our series of improvements on the avatar input. Bye.